Uh, one of TV's uh, most familiar faces next, but off-screen, the actor Stephen Tompkinson's personal life has been far from drama-free. Following a long and difficult battle with dementia, his father, Brian, sadly passed away almost four years ago now. And having witnessed the devastating effects of the condition firsthand, Stephen joins us now in the studio to raise awareness about this whole thing, Stephen, because your father was afflicted with it, you as a family had to, to live with it. Didn't yes, you? yeah, about, about seven years, my, uh, my mum passed, passed away very unexpectedly and Dad was on his own for uh, the last 11 years of his life and started to notice that, uh, having been a, a bank manager all his life, that, that numbers stopped making sense to him. He couldn't do the Sudoku anymore or, or crosswords anymore. And, just, just little things started mounting up. Um, the, he, he couldn't operate the, the lock on the door. He'd had one of those doors fit where you push the handle up in order yep. to lock it, and he couldn't get that sequence in his head, so he was building a sort of temporary barricade to keep people out. And the, I must the, just uh, explain, otherwise it, this might be a bit odd. Yeah, so yeah, to to why I'm you involved with um, Alzheimer's Research UK, and their new campaign is, is Share the Orange. So start talking about it, because the, the, the orange represents about 140 grams, which is the brain matter that gets lost through dementia, you know, and, and that can be your memories, it can be all sorts of... All sorts of things just, just stop making yeah. sense. Um, and I, I know you're... you're yeah, my dad, my dad well, had Alzheimer's, as well. yeah. Food, food stuff, he, he, he was forgetting how to... So it, it's what to do with a plate of food, didn't yeah. make sense anymore. It's like you've been reborn into a world where everyone's a complete stranger to you and it's very... Including you, did, did you get... Yes, I mean, that was yes, for me course. the most devastating moment yeah. when my dad didn't know who I was. And, 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 you know, various people found it too upsetting to then uh, prolong the relationship with, you know, and they want to keep... I, I understand that people want to keep memories fresh and nice mm. memories and, and not see this. Can I ask you, because whenever we talk about Alzheimer's and dementia, people say, well, how did you know? What did you first notice? And for us, in hindsight, which is a wonderful mm -hmm. thing, we didn't know very much. I mean, no. you know, this was 15 years ago, is that when you look back, I go, oh, yes, my dad was doing quite odd things. Yes. So for anyone watching that goes, I'm just worried that a loved one might have Alzheimer's or dementia, what did you notice? Well, I noticed he was, he was drawing the curtains a lot more, which is quite a common thing, because uh, uh, apparently you can see your own reflection but mm -hmm. think it's someone outside yeah, my dad did trying to get in. Yeah. And it's just a sort of, not only is your, your brain shrinking, your, your world starts mm -hmm. to get much smaller as well and, and everyone starts to become a stranger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's... You see, um, as, we, as we sit and talk uh, about this, um, so many of you, practically all of us, Will be affected we'll by be, this. We yeah. know well, one, one in three we'll people them. born today will develop yes. some form of dementia. It's it's the biggest killer in the UK. See, that shocked now. me, right? Yeah. I would have thought you were talking about heart disease, you're talking about cancer yeah. or no. something. But the leading cause of death in the UK affecting 850,000 people is dementia. Yeah. 850,000, yeah. And and it's it's costing the economy £26 billion a year to yeah. fund, and, and that's more than heart disease and cancer put together. And yet money into the research is woefully behind so those. Could issues. I just ask you about research, and I'm glad you've hit upon that, because are we any closer to finding a cure to this? Well, we will, because I think the misconception and the fatalism around it is it's just something that comes with old age. It isn't. It is a physical disease. And that's, you know, the, the orange is something physical that we want to try and reduce. So and that part, that much of your brain could yeah. be affected? Yeah. yeah, and all the memories therein. And... Well, I did the um, Alzheimer's Society memory walk on Sunday, yes. which I do every year. And I met somebody whose brother has just been diagnosed, and he's 47. Yes. And yeah, that's it's, shocking, it's, isn't it? It's happening. So it's not, it's no, not just different, happening to There's different people. forms. You know, Alzheimer's is just uh, the sort of main disease that can cause yeah. dementia. But, but it is a physical disease and therefore can be tackled. Um, with the, the last time you were in here, we were talking about happier matters. We were talking about you going on tour with uh, the, the Willie Russell play, Educating Rita. Yes. Which you're still... Which we're, which we're, we're going again, Jess Johnson and I, in, uh, in February through till May, mm -hmm. and it's the, the 40th anniversary production. Now, when Dad would see you on television or maybe come along, 
Could he remember programmes that you had been in? Would he get any solace through watching repeats? Or what was he like watching, you know, performances? Or yes, no, he, he, got, he got a great deal of, of joy out of that. And I, I was filming uh, Wild at Heart in Africa and he'd come out every year with, with my daughter, Daisy, and, and loved all that. And it's, it's, it's different with, with every case. Um, but, it, you, but you just don't want people to... It, it, it's like invasion of the body snatchers. Their, their shell is still there, but, but their essence has sort of been taken away, which it's very is hard incredibly to with, cruel. Yeah. And also, it, it's a very prolonged period yes. of time that you, you start feeling like you lose that person. Mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. Um, but I think it's about raising awareness, which is obviously Definitely. what you're keen to do yes. now. And when, when you did lose him, Stephen, did you feel that he had already gone or were you able to say goodbye to him? Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the end was just uh, my dad and my brother and I, his two boys. Um, I was told on the Friday that, that I, was, I was rehearsing a play. I managed to get a plane and get up to St Anne's and we spent the last two hours with Dad. And then my brother and I were, were looking at him. For some reason, we spontaneously stood up at the same time. John's the elder brother, so I let him go first and he said a few words to Dad and kissed him and then I did the same. And we both started to walk backwards and before we'd sat down was his, uh, mm. his, his last breath. And, but there was a great dignity about that. Mm. Well. And how lovely Beauty. that he was there with his That we boy. were there, yeah. 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 Well, good luck to you with this awareness and uh, the whole thing about uh, raising um, money, funds, uh, for uh, research into the causes and hopefully slowing this whole thing Yeah, and, as well. and stopping it. As I say, it's a, it's a physical disease mm. and if it's there physically, we can, we can battle it. And, and we have to support the people who are living with it as well. Definitely. You've got two things, yes. haven't you? You've got to fund the research, You've got care support and research. the people yeah. and families who are dealing sure. with it. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Nice Thank to you very see much you. Indeed.